Today, somewhere out there in the world, in a classroom, somewhere between the age of 10 and 20, the person who's gonna be the first person to set foot on Mars is out there, probably studying math or science. And it's really exciting to think about what that person's life will be like and how they will live after this big mission. Mars is probably in the mid 2030s. And so what we need to do now are proving ground missions that will get us ready for Mars. And it takes six pieces to get to Mars and Boeing is building the SLS right now. NASA's current plan for Mars starts with SLS and Orion, the two pieces that get you in and out of the Earth's gravity well. If you're gonna go to the moon or farther, you need a really big rocket to do that. And that's what the SLS is all about to get you into a high orbit. And it's gonna take us probably five or six SLS launches to be able to do the Mars mission. So we wanna make sure that we've checked everything out and that we know that it's good to go before we actually leave for Mars. Because once we leave, we can't come back for over two years. And the reason for this is because it's the alignment of the planets. The way the planets revolve around the sun, it allows a window of opportunity to go from Earth to Mars basically every two years. Just to get to Mars before you even land or anything is gonna take seven or eight months. The reality is you're gonna be there for a year waiting until that window opens up to come back. And then it's gonna take seven or eight months to come home. Two more pieces are needed to go between Earth and Mars, a deep space tug of some kind, and we'll need a, a habitat. The deep space transportation is a solar electric tug with very large solar arrays and it uses the power from the sun to drive the propulsion system so they look like large sailing ships. And attached to the sailing ship will be a habitat where the crew will live. They'll ride in that habitat on the way to Mars and then we'll leave the habitat in orbit when the crew goes down to the surface. And then the last two pieces that we'll need are the lander, and this lander will have an inflatable heat shield that will take the crew through the atmosphere and down. It'll drop that heat shield and then the lander will land on the surface, much like the lunar lander did on the moon. And then we need a little rocket for them to get back up out of the Mars gravity well again. I think we'll be able to colonize Mars someday. It'll take time. It may take hundreds of years, but that's not unusual for humans. It's really about establishing a human foothold on the planet. It's a natural evolution of humanity to take this challenge on.